That's right, Kristen. He was part of that buyback program and actually helped set it up eight years ago here in Milwaukee when he was still an alderman. But he says there's no way the city can pay for that on his own. Days after revealing the suspect in the Highland Park attack nearly attacked Madison as well, the Dane County Sheriff's Office announced it's hosting a gun buyback program, exchanging guns for gas or grocery gift cards. There are too many guns in the hands of people who shouldn't have them, and we in America must confront head on the epidemic of gun violence. Milwaukee tried a gun buyback program in 2014, collecting 353 guns, including four assault rifles. Gun owners getting 50 to $200 in return. A spokesperson for Mayor Cavalier Johnson's office says a metal recycling company paid that bill. Is the only way that Milwaukee could do that again through a private funder? Well, we certainly did it that way last time. That probably is the probably is the best course of action, considering the fact that our budgets are tight. There's no way that I'm going to be able to fund some of these other programs if we don't have additional revenues coming in. But some say gun buyback programs don't work. In a 2021 study published in the National Bureau of Economic Research, economists looked at hundreds of gun buyback programs nationwide, including Milwaukee's. They concluded the programs do little to reduce gun crime or firearm related violence. With homicides still breaking record rates in Milwaukee, Johnson says he's willing to give it a try if someone else bankrolls it. I don't think that individuals who may have lost a family member uh, would have found it to be a waste. And Caroline, did the study say why gun back programs do not help reduce crime? It did. It listed several reasons. Some of those reasons saying uh, the cities oftentimes aren't offering high enough prices for those guns. The people participating in these gun buyback programs typically wouldn't be involved in crimes. And a lot of times those guns they are turning in are old and not in proper working condition, Kristen.